Okay, it's Roger B again. So now I'm gonna take you through the Betaflight settings that match my transmitter settings that I set up just a minute ago. So I'm gonna, oops, I'm already connected. So if you go to setup, there's nothing there. Ports, what's important about this, I had UART3 wired to my satellite receiver. So UART3, you need to set to serial RX. Note that the UART3 pad that's directly on UART3 is not 3.3 volts. The 3.3 volt pad is on the underside, underneath the board. There's a pad labeled 3.3 volts. The red wire for the satellite goes to that. That gives you your power for 3.3. Ground and signal go to UART3. Uh, this is on my SP Racing F3 board. For configuration, the parts that uh, I usually says I usually have motor stop disabled. This means the uh, the the motors will spin when armed, and the motors will spin for me at a, at a rate of uh, 1020 uh, for for there. I do have my max throttle set to 1960. Uh, there's a reason that it is lower than 2000 uh, when I had it set to 2000, and I calibrated my ESCs. The calibrations were going well off the charts, as seen in BL Heli, way above 2000, which folks, uh, Joshua Bardwell didn't like. So he recommended that lower this until when you calibrate, that calibration looks like they are going uh, in the 2000 range at the ESC. So I, I chose to do that, and I've been flying that uh, this way. And min commands here. The part that matters for the satellite receiver is you say serial based receiver uh, spec set and spectrum 2048 is what you use for uh, all the spectrum satellites I've seen that I use with my DX6 uh, have always been uh, spectrum 2048 and that's it for this for the uh, as far as spectrum specific settings Pit tuning, there's nothing spectrum specific here. Uh, this is for my QQ190 uh, frame, so if you want to see what the PIDs are and compare with yours, you're welcome to, but you know, don't take much with that. Uh, here's the receiver tab, so you can see the sticks move when I move sticks on the radio. Um, to note, remember the arm disarm is this switch. Remember on the radio it was labeled AUX1, but here, arm disarm, is AUX2. So we have to remember that when we're setting up for arm later on. That other switch, the gear channel, is known as AUX1 here. See, See how it's moving? Okay, so now that we know AUX1 is for what I'm going to use for black box recording and AUX2 is for arm, we'll go to modes over here. Modes. And you can see, oop, right now I'm armed because this little ticky mark here is within the range that you slide here. So you have ranges here. And if that ticky mark is in there and all other conditions are met, like low throttle, it will arm. Watch what happens when I disarm. Hold mode. When I disarm, ticky mark went outside this range. So that sort of represents you know, where the switch is in its throw. So here it's disarmed, there it's armed, and it's within the range, we go to armed. Disarm. I'm going to do a test right now where if I raise my throttle up, so if I take my throttle stick, raise it up, and now arm, Launch mode. I armed, the ticky mark went within the range, but it didn't arm. And that's because the throttle.